I would have guessed we had to follow the sun, like the start of that story, but let's... Let's try this. Oh. Okay, so we found a symbol finally. Hold on, wait a second. Was the other one that close too? Hold on. Sun. Was it really? Wait, was the other one that close? Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, okay. So that is the right one. So then let's follow this to moon. Okay, they're much closer than I would have thought. Okay, so sun, uh, now moon. Why are you going so slow? Please. Okay, and now sun. Yeah, we just got the angle wrong. Okay, and now moon. All right, keep a close eye out. Okay. And now sun. Uh, is it behind here? Okay, yeah, sun and moon. Close eye, all right, so now sun. And moon. The angle, right? Okay, now we're on to something. And moon, okay, and now sun. And moon. You gotta be getting close to something here, right? Um, uh-oh, okay. Uh, oh, wait, who am I? That must be the question I've been looking for. Oh. Oh. Who am I? I guess that's a good question. Wait, is it in this? Ah, oh, here you'll find the answer to your question. Who am I? That's right, Inabish. Who am I is the question that leads to the secret of your past. You are but a step away from unraveling the mystery, from the ancient, mystifying events whose meaning I never did grasp till the end of my days. Perhaps only you are destined to reveal their divine plan. I promise you a key to the chests that store your parents' belongings. The key is before you, and with it I pass to you that which I had guarded in my memory for many ages. Yes, the things in the chest belong to Zambul and Sarne. However... These people are not your parents, or even your relatives. They had a son of their own once, but he had died in that explosion under the dome. That's right. Okay. He was five years old, and his name was Shagate. Several days after the explosion, a golden eagle arrived here, carrying a human infant. He set the child down on the ground in front of the yurt. You were that infant, Inabesh. Who you are and where you came from, I do not know. From that day, the home of my late son became a haven for you and Ongots. I was not repulsed by the strange appearance of your bodies. Who am I to pass judgment on Providence? Dismay came a month later, when Shigate, Shigate's features on your face became unmistakable. Goodbye forever, your grandfather, Bajin. Oh man, what? So who or what are we? Empty envelope, okay. All right, well, we got the key. Oh, man. Oh, it's funny. We actually had to use that little post thing. That was one of the first things that we interacted when we left the yurt. All right, well, I guess it's time to go into the, the chess and figure out what the hell is going on and why we apparently look exactly like our father and that we rapidly aged. All right. What the hell is this? Oh, it looks like... Uh... Huh. Chair or something? Okay, a monitor. Um, you can go right there. Oh, what the hell is this? Uh, okay, this is just news newspapers. Uh, what does this say? Uh, everything magazine. It literally has everything. You'll ever need. All right. Oh, and there's one more thing in here. Oh, it's a little radio. That's nice. Well, I want to destroy everything. All right, so let's get you out of here. Oh, okay, so now we can move the chest off of the one below it. 
All right, down you go. Now, what's in this one? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, man, it's filled with, like, toys and stuff. Um, okay. Well, what is this? Okay, yeah, I'm guessing that's the 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 son that they had back then and the, their actual grand or like our the actual grandfather not our adopted grandfather not to say that it isn't actual i have no need for this ah packs of letters one correspondent mentions mark and ida okay i've already written you about him he works nearby at the uh, the station well a few years back he'd met a girl he says they saw each other only once in a company of friends and somehow the way she looked at him He's been dreaming of that moment ever since. Mark speaks of some strange sensation called the Babylonian effect, that the entire institute is studying it at the present. Zambul and I laugh in return. The sensation is totally normal, Mark. We've studied it thoroughly long ago. Kick your science to the curb and go to Ida before she gets her body replaced. Oh, wait, what? Okay, is there anything else in here? That doesn't really answer anything for us. Okay, um... Huh. Interesting. What is the Babylonian effect? Huh. Nothing else in here, eh? Just, uh, that one letter? Yeah, it looks like that's the one. Alright, I'm guessing talk to Ida? Yeah, speak with Ida. Or Ida? I found it. You and Mark met once before. I found it. You and Mark had met once before. Yes, I already know. Oh. I remembered it. Um, Mark was recall uh some kind of special moment. Uh, or how? Tell me. Mark. Let's go with that. Recalling some kind of special moment. Oh man. Nothing so special that it stayed with me, except maybe. Ah, huh. what is this sensation? A sensation. A sensation. Yes. Sometimes I get a peculiar feeling. It somehow resembles anxiety, but only partially. Oh. I can't really describe it. It that, is a sad, that pleasant just feeling. just sounds like a melancholy. I that particular evening, and... Well, what? And what? Anavish, I'm about to shut down. Wait! No, oh, come on! Wait. We're not done figuring out... We need out to work through this. And we won't. Oh. Time. Oh, no. Received a message. Oh, that doesn't sound good. From whom? From my neurochip. Only the neurochip writes in red letters. I'm oh my god. That it is Wait, what? Destructive. Oh no. Know what I can do? What? Split myself in two. Wait, what? What do you mean? When I shut down, my upper half will split from my legs. Okay. Why? I've no clue. That's just how my body works. Um, I can show you. Watch. Oh, uh, sure. Don't. Ida, listen. I'm listening. Maybe there's still a way I mean, to hopefully. fix everything. Fix everything? Well, there is a way. If you can travel... Why does everyone care about these digits? That would fix everything. What is it about them? We've heard that it's, what is it, 3513 or something? Fix. Everything. Oh man. Oh no. Ida. Oh man. Why why do they want to pass that back? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh Ida. Can we not can we not take your memory or your no chip? Oh man. Uh, what's our task? Take Ida to a powerful source of electricity. Oh. Okay. Okay, I mean, that that's definitely a plan. Powerful source of electricity. Oh, no. How are we gonna... How or what are we gonna get her to? Oh. Oh, I think... I think we have an idea. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe we can uh, juice it to this. No? 
Fun. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to drop you. No, can't combine you with that. All right. It's got to be this, right? It's got to be... Yeah. It's got to be something in this facility. It's the only thing that has power in the area. Real sorry about this. Hey, do you know, it's on the plus side. Your look glass looks like really cool shades. All right, let's get her in. I'm assuming this is where we have to go. Everywhere we've gone so far has been related to this facility. I know, this does not look great. This absolutely looks like we are, you know, trying to get away with a murder. No, no, don't don't worry about it. She, she She's fine. She's just taking a nap. Yep, no, no, it's it's fine. It's got to be here, right? Oh, wow. This is even spookier now. Yeah, maybe she'll also remember something now that she's here. Oh, my God. New task added. Secure Ida in a vertical position at the center of the ruined flower bed. Wait, what? Like, this flower bed or the one over here? Um, hmm. The ruined flower bed. I didn't see that. What ruined flower bed? Is there one out in the field there? Uh, yep, yeah, no, she's fine. Nope, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. She just looks so, uh, relaxed. Like, she looks so nonchalant about it. Uh, is this the ruined flower bed? Um, do we just put her on one of these? Real sorry, don't mean to be flinging around. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what they're talking about. Are you talking about, like, attaching to the lamppost here? Do you know why don't, why don't you um she just looks like so like oh I'm over this like oh how could you oh <laughs> all right where is this ruined flower bed hey this has got to be it right maybe we can send her up on one of the balloons well it only updated once we stepped into here so maybe it's actually in here Huh. Oh. Hey. Ah. Okay. There we go. Um. Okay. New task added. Uh, reanimate uh, Ida with an electric cable. Oh. Um. I think I think we see a sparking cable over there. I mean, that kind of looks like one. Um, whoa, geez. Okay. So do we have to, like, bring it down here somehow? Oh. Huh. What do you got to say? Nothing much. <laughs> huh. Um, yeah. I'm not quite sure how we're going to... I mean, I guess we get up there... Ah. Huh. Up one of the lifts and then walk around? Yeah, it looks like it's sparking up there. Right? I'm not crazy. I'm, 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 I'm watching. Yeah, it looks like there's something up here. Unless there's another cable. Oh, no, no. Right here, right here. There we go. All right, let's plug her in. Uh, um... Is there, like, an outlet? <laughs> uh, do we just drop it? Oh, jeez. Okay. So maybe we just drop it in the water. Come on. Yeah, maybe we just throw it in here. No? Not so much. Maybe we plug it into the back side? Oh, yeah, there was something that popped up here. Oh, uh, something happened there. Huh. Uh, maybe we just have to be faster. Um, oh, I have to remove the lid of her back. There we go. Take you. 
There we go. Assuming now there's gonna be a lightning strike. Yeah. Okay, okay. This is the, the, the juice that she needs. Oh, I really hope this brings her back. Oop. I mean, we shouldn't be standing in a pool of water next to this. How's it going? Hey. Feeling better? Are you there? Oh, I really hope this brought you back. Ida. I'm here. How do you feel? Strange. Okay, um, how? Strange? In what way? Describe your state. I feel... That's good. Feel anxious. Good. Well, I mean, feeling something is better than, you know, being a piece of scrap metal. Yes. Just don't shut down. Look at me. Why? I'll explain everything later. Well, maybe not everything. Well, at least she's not attached to a uh, flower vase anymore. So that's a big thumbs up. Jeez, what the hell is happening? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure we, we read all this stuff. Oh, this is just going over what that information is? Huh. What do we got? Is this our ending ending title sequence? You have to know one thing. Oh. Wait, are we are we are we getting info on, on what's what 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 the real situation was? What is this? Twenty four seventy fifty. Twenty four seven fifty. What is what is this big deal with this obsession with this four digit number? Why is that a big part of this mystery? Send it back in time. Okay. So this is like, I guess, before whatever happens that caused this cataclysm. Um, some, some woman, maybe, maybe that's Ida? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's her. Oh, man. We're, we're going full on music video here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's it's the number three five one three. But how is that going to save the world? What is happening? Okay. She's like living her her best life now. Did we did we change it? Is that supposed to be Mark? Hmm. I want more info. Are these our parents? It doesn't look like them, at least not in the photo. So I'm assuming this is now. Yeah, yeah. I know this is a full on, I would say this is a 90s music video. This is a good like B band. The, the 90s. Wait. I have so many questions. So many questions. What is happening? I mean, we'll see if there's a post-credit sequence, but I feel like there there's a lot of questions that I don't have any answers. Any answers to. Actually, let's turn down that. A little bit. Yeah, I have no idea what the, what's going on here. Huh. Yeah, I feel like I I don't know. Okay, is that them on the right holding hands? I am very confused. I don't know. 
this feels like maybe maybe the the ending they they wanted to come up with they didn't have enough time for I don't know because for for me I I feel like we only have a partial answer to who or what we are I feel like we are a clone of our father perhaps and maybe also maybe maybe partially a clone of of the the son who who died in the explosion but we still don't know why yeah there's got to be an explanation sammy oh this is made on unigen oh interesting unigen is like a very underutilized engine or at least you know it's not a very popular engine oh my god huh yeah, I'm, hmm. I feel like I am both satisfied and unsatisfied by that ending. I feel like for me, the, the big thing is we don't have a good answer to the timeline that led to whatever disaster that happens with this, this four digit code that could have changed everything. And it's mentioned a whole bunch of times in like the text before. So what is what is the significance of this? Like they basically say, "Oh, well, anyone who lives today knows how important those four digits were." I think the implication is that Ida is alive. That would be my guess. Is that the the two of them are alive now? But I don't really have a good sense of like the, the bigger answers of, of the world, which I guess is fine. You don't need to answer every question that you pose for for the the player or the watcher or the reader or whatever. But I feel like I still have like, I feel like there was one reveal that we didn't get. Like I feel like there, yeah, see, yeah, like that, the, 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 the black smoke thing. Like we never got an answer to what that is. Yeah, exactly, answer some of them. Like we got some answers, like, you know, obviously, when we first wake up, we don't know what's going on or why we don't have any memories. We don't really get a good answer for that. That's fine. Don't need an answer. But I guess the, the answer is, who are we? Maybe we're a clone of either our father or our... Or we're a clone of the dad. Or we're a clone of the son who died. So we're one or the other, right? We're probably a clone of that or the other. I know, Bug Snacks was, hey, Bug Snacks gave us what we wanted. We we both got a satisfying, heartfelt ending and a horrifying ending that revealed the dark mysteries of the island and the origins of Bug Snacks. With this, I feel like they must have had a couple more things that they wanted to include that may have would have added to that because you have this setup in this scenario where you're learning all about these body transfers, telepathy, and all this stuff that they were studying, and then you don't give us any insight into what the result of that was. So I think that could have been at least one thing. And also the 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 essence that they were essentially like harvesting from like the the mechanical, the embodies. Like I 100% don't believe that that is the actual use of it. And that I, I think the, the body transfers were justified by the, I guess, events that took place during the research of it. Because those kids definitely weren't sick, right? Like, and, and this whole fear of the human body thing is very interesting. Yeah, it feels like it is like 90% there. And I think the problem is like, it's one of those, they didn't quite stick the landing. Like it, it, it feels like they they set up a lot of interesting things, but didn't quite have either the time or the resources to answer. I guess like the key questions that would have made the story easier to follow. Because essentially, the story, if you follow only like what happens, is we find the the cache that uh, contained her neurochip. We learned more about her, who she was. Very little about ourselves, which was kind of the whole setup, right? Who are we? What's going on? Why Why do I live here? What happened to my grandfather? We learn a little bit about that. We learn more about her, 
and then kind of a lot about the world, but nothing about what's the significance of the number. Unless there was like some key text we were missing from the the yurt. But I think we got pretty much every, like I, I was pretty thorough reading through every little cabinet that we could find, like overturning stuff. So it kind of feels like they were 90% of the way there and they couldn't quite stick the landing. Like maybe there was a disagreement of how they wanted to conclude the story. Maybe they, maybe there was a version of it where, you know, it's just an exposition dump at the end where it's like, oh, okay, so here's what's really happening. And here's why the body transfers are happening. And here's what, you know, the, the, this like distilled essence is being used for. But we didn't really get answers to any of those big questions, which you don't have to do, but you also have to have more reveals. Like, if we got, like, a full-on definitive, okay, we are the clone of the sun, the the parents lost us, um, we were, like, a telepath, and um, they felt guilty, and, and they couldn't live with it, so they, they had us cloned. And, and they, they knew it was unethical, so they had us delivered to the grandfather. Something like that. You're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. That explains who we are. And maybe you can also throw in a little bit about, like, why we don't remember anything. And maybe that was part of, like, the grandfather on our 18th birthday gave us this digital program that set in motion us discovering who we really were. I don't know. Something, like, along that line. Just, like, what are the answers? Because um, otherwise, I thought it was, like, a really strong mix between kind of, like, an action puzzle game and more of a thoughtful puzzle game where you're trying to, like you know, figure out what you're supposed to be doing in the yurt to reactivate her and, and make repairs for her, and then going into the facility and uh, getting the equipment to do it with the, the cube puzzles, which were which were interesting puzzles. Like, they're puzzles that you don't conventionally see in a game like this. Like, you know, in a game like this, like Portal, Portal 2, uh, the Talos Principle, stuff like that. Normally, there isn't, like, such a component on, like, urgency that the puzzles in this had, like the, the Q puzzles. So it was neat to see that stuff, but it definitely feels like they got 90% of the way there and the dismount, maybe they broke their leg on the dismount. I mean, I still enjoyed it, but I feel like um, I'm coming up with answers to questions that they pose that are maybe more interesting than the things in the game. Like, the game poses all these questions, but gives us only, like, a sliver of answers, which is fine. Like, a mystery box is also interesting because you don't know what's inside of it. The problem is you have to, I think, at least provide some answers. But, you know, I still enjoyed it. I think it's definitely a game that would benefit from a sequel. Like, I think if there was a Cradle 2 that kind of picked up, like, almost immediately from where that left off, though I don't even know how, because what was the, yeah, what was the text? I, that that still confuses me. That That is probably the thing that gives me the most head scratch. It's like, wait, so why did you want to send a text back in time? Why was that so important? And And, like, why does everyone in the world know what these three digits are? 3513. Like, why could, like, those four digits save the world? Like, did he forget the passcode to, like, you know, his AI that was uh, rampaging or something? Like, you know, lots of questions. Lots of questions. Like I said, still enjoyed it, but I feel like a bit perplexing. I feel like, again, the best way to, to describe this is it is 90% of the way to an excellent adventure game. And they just missed the dismount, which is fine. Would love to have some of that stuff answered, especially with the 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 code, the four digit code. But you know, I understand that this is a a uh, small team game, so you can't have it all. Still enjoyed it, but it is an imperfect uh, experience, in my opinion.